Listen to this. Starehe Boys Center is grappling with an acute financial crisis that could see about 600 students miss their education. The school, which depends on well wishes to fund its operations, has only raised 20 million shillings out of the 150 million shillings required this year. Hassan Mugambi has the details. It is lunchtime at Starehe Boys Center. Jovial students in their hundreds stream to the dining hall for their meal. <laughs> but behind the smiles is a strained administration. A struggle to keep the student population in school and comfortable, keeping Josephat Moura, auditing firm KPMG CEO, and now acting director of the school, awake every single night. Out of about the 800 or so students who are beneficiaries of sponsorship here, at the moment, we have nearly 600 of those without sponsors. Set up as a center for bright but needy students in the country, Starehe for years thrived. Its founder, Dr. Geoffrey Griffins, described as a master fundraiser. The school's top performance further gave it the brand visibility it needed to attract donors and sponsors. But not anymore. Uh, the founders had imprinted their mark on this school. And once you have such strong characters depart, um, then sustaining that culture can be a bit of a challenge. And Insiders, however, tell Citizen TV that management wrangles that rocked the institution after the death of Dr. Griffins also played a role in painting the institution black among donors and sponsors. The new management all too aware to change the tidings. Uh, our commitment is to put that money to the best use possible to apply it in the education and care uh, of the boy and assure you that once they leave Sterehe, they will be a transformed individual. To keep it going, the institution has heavily relied on the goodwill of its old boys, their luminas, so far managing to raise 24 million shillings. This though, only a drop in the ocean. It's still not enough because it costs us over 150 million shillings to run this institution. As an old boy of the institution, Maura is keeping hopes alive that the once high-flying flag of Starehe Boys Center will find its place. Even as they go about their business crafting their future in this giant institution, now their comfort solely depends on the depth of donors' pockets. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV.